can herniated discs heal? That's one of the most common questions I get is, can herniated discs heal on their own without surgery? Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Candy, and in this video, I'm gonna be telling you about herniated discs, what causes them to herniate, if they can heal, the short answer is yes, and more specifically, what you can do to get the pain to go away. Now, if you find this video helpful, give it a like or thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you get notified of our future videos. Now, first of all, herniated discs can heal. That's the good news. The bad news is that they take a really, really long time to do that, about 300 to 500 days. Now, that sounds like a really long time. It's about you know a year to two years. Now, you might be thinking, well, maybe I'm better off just to have the surgery. But you probably don't have to do that. Because the good news is, even though it can take a herniated disc 300 to 500 days to heal, often the pain will go away much quicker. In fact, there are a very large percentage of people who have no back pain at all, that have bulging discs, herniated discs, degenerative discs, and that number gets higher and higher the older you get. So those abnormal findings on your MRI can be quite normal. But back to the original question, can herniated discs heal? Yes, they can. And the reason it goes so slow is that because they have a poor blood supply, that the herniated disc or your discs in general are like a jelly donut. They have a hard outside and then a soft inner side. Now, when a disc herniates, that hard outside sort of splits, usually in the back, and the jelly, so to speak, squirts out backwards. Now, that's called a herniated disc. And when that herniation pushes on a nerve, it can give you symptoms that radiate down into your leg. Now, a true, true herniated disc, it usually will give you trouble that goes down past the knee when they're really severe, but sometimes it can be just in the thigh or if it's up higher in your spine, it can be in the front of the thigh. But the things that you can do to get the disc to heal faster. Now, there's really nothing that you can do to speed it up, but there is a lot that you can do to slow it down. The number one thing that slows it down is actually smoking. That herniated discs on their own, they have a poor blood supply and the carbon monoxide that's in cigarettes, it permanently binds to the oxygen carrying receptors, the hemoglobin on your red blood cells. And so it impairs how much oxygen you can get to your disc. And that really, really slows down the healing process. Now, you probably know if you're a smoker that smoking is not good for you. This is not gonna be the first time you've heard that. But the decision to make it is really, do I get more joy out of smoking the cigarettes or do I lose more joy out of my life by the pain that you're having from the herniated disc? And hopefully that will help you come to a conclusion. Now, the other thing that's really important is moving around and getting physical activity because the blood supply to the disc, it goes along the outside of the disc. The inner part, it really doesn't have its own blood supply. It gets it from diffusing from the vertebrae above and the vertebrae below the disc. And that happens when you walk and move around and you get compression and distraction of your vertebrae. You get diffusion of the blood and the nutrients and the oxygen from the vertebrae above and below into the disc. So if you're not moving around, then your disc is gonna take longer to heal. Now you might think, I have pain when I move around. I can't walk, I can't exercise. And for a lot of people with back problems, that is a kind of a catch-22. But there are a lot of more forms of physical activity that you can do, whether that be getting in a pool and walking around, whether it be getting on an exercise bike specifically or a recumbent bike with a back and just pedaling to get some blood flow or going for short walks. Now I have some other videos that if you have back pain or sciatica when you're standing or walking and you'd like to be able to relieve it and be able to walk a little bit longer, there are a lot of things that you can do when you're walking to actually make the walking more comfortable. Now, those are the things that will help heal a herniated disc, but actually you don't have to wait that 300 to 500 days to start feeling better. That again, there are a lot of people who are completely pain-free that have bulging discs, herniated discs, degenerative discs, and may not even know that they have them unless they start to have pain and happen to have an MRI showing them. So you can do a lot of things, and some of those are just positional. Now, they used to say that doing extension exercises. They would call them McKenzie's exercises. Makes the disc material go back into the disc. Well, they've actually found that just the opposite is true. That doing those exercises, it actually makes the disc material bulge out even a little bit more. 
but they can be helpful for some people, usually younger people who have bulging discs and herniated discs. But the majority of people that we see here at More for Life are usually women over 40 who have had some back pain or sciatica for a long time. And usually in those cases, those back bending exercises or trying to stand up straight like people tell you to is not the best option because that actually kind of closes down the spaces where the nerve roots come out. And when you start getting up in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, the problem is usually not as much herniated discs as degenerative discs, where the discs start to dry out and you lose space between the vertebrae, where the nerve roots come out in the vertebrae. And so what you can do to open up those spaces is anything that kind of goes in that opposite direction, bending forward or even slouching a little bit, sitting down in a chair. That's why a lot of people feel better when they're sitting or when they're laying down because they don't have all that vertical compression of gravity pushing down on their nerves. Now there's some other things you can do to calm down the pain, including some hands-on treatments and learning other activities like the video I told you about from where you can learn to walk with less pain. Now, if you need some help for a bulging disc, a herniated disc, or a degenerative disc, and you don't want to wait that 300 to 500 days for the disc to actually heal, if you'd like to get rid of the pain a little bit quicker than that, then give us a call at More for Life and we'd be happy to help you out. And again, if you found this video helpful, give it a like or thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you get notified of our future videos. Thanks and have a great day.